question is from K Craig 12. What are your thoughts on trap bar deadlifts? Mark Ripito recently released a video talking about why the trap bar is a poor and unsafe substitute for the barbell. I love this video. <laughs> He's so yeah. salty. I, I love him. Man. I know. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm growing to like really love this guy more and more. The, he starts the video off with this. Yeah. This is a crap bar. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> For some reason, the military just bought a bunch of these. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I think it's, it's you, you don't, you should not compare the two exercises. You should not say to yourself, which one do I do? Because if I do one, I can't do the other one. I think that's the wrong yeah. approach. I think that's the approach a lot of people in fitness take where it's like it's either kettlebells or dumbbells or barbells or machines or high reps or low reps. I think they all have value. Actually, I know they all have value. Yeah. The trap bar has tremendous value on its own. I don't think it should replace a straight bar deadlift, yes. but I think it has its own value. Well, and I think his argument was really that. Like he's he was trying to argue how much more valuable like a deadlift was for these very specific reasons, which you know, I couldn't really argue against that fact, but to your fact to your uh, point, like I totally see like a lot of value in the trap bar for completely different reasons. Totally. Well, you have to talk about why he made the video in the first place. Yeah. He made the video in response to what the military is doing currently right now, mm -hmm. which is eliminating the barbell deadlift and replacing it with trap bar yeah. deadlifts and now do you and guys do you guys know why they did or do you guys want to guess why i don't know why but i have well, probably some, injuries I have some probably That's, a lot yeah. of people were getting hurt trying to deadlift yeah Four technique yeah because a trap bar is easier to teach than a, than a yeah. barbell oh, of course it, it just is it's an easier thing to teach the other part of it is if you look at athletic coaches some of the best athletic coaches in the world they do trap bar deadlifts. Yeah. They say it transfers better to the sport. basketball or yeah. volleyball. Yeah, I mean, for me, okay, so this is where I think we, we all kind of are in similar camps. I love the video, though, I, I and I, I, I agree with him that uh, it's a terrible idea to replace the deadlift uh, because, uh, to your point, Sal, it, it is. It's a different exercise. Mm -hmm. It's a different exercise. It has different applications. Both of them have value. Uh, but to his point, and I agree with him that uh, the trap bar deadlift should not replace uh, a conventional uh, barbell deadlift. They're different. I mean, mm -hmm. the, uh, they're completely different. Uh, in fact, they have very. They have. I think the trap bar deadlift has more similarities to a squat than it has to a deadlift. Right. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't even be called a deadlift. It should be more like a trap bar yeah, squat. Yeah. His point with that travel in the sagittal plane, like allowing for a little bit more of that. Like you do see that in a squat, and that's why we have the squat. And so right. it's like, you know, I get, I get where he's coming from from a barbell purist perspective with that. But it does also allow. I mean, it's a different. You know, it's a different monster. It's something that I'm recruiting. You know, both anterior and posterior like together so i've done long periods of trap bar deadlifts um when i was searching for that 600 pound deadlift years ago um i avoided the the straight bar for a little while because i was overworking my posterior chain so i picked up a trap bar and it was similar enough i thought to prevent me from losing gains but allow me to train kind of a similar it's different but a similar motion here's what i found with it well, obviously i could lift more weight with a trap bar it's just it's more of a vertical I guess lift my back is a little bit more straight so I can lift more weight with it. Um, and I noticed that it did strain my lower back less, but I did get a lot of mid upper back activation. So you load up a trap bar really mm -hmm. heavy mm -hmm. and you do some trap bar deadlifts, you still get some really good mid back activation. And of course it works the legs. You get a little bit more quad activation. Yeah. Um, I noticed with the trap bar, the straight bar. Now when I did that and went back to the straight bar, mm -hmm. I didn't lose any strength on the straight bar. And then I was able to get my straight bar lifts up to the 600 pound target. I find them extremely valuable. I, and they're easier to teach, by the way. When you get a client as a trainer, teaching a deadlift can sometimes be very difficult. Um, there's a process to teaching it. And sometimes what I used to do is I would go, I wouldn't even go to the straight bar, I'd go to the trap bar, depending on the client, because it was an easier way to, to, to train something that was somewhat similar. I also think that, um, I also think this is part of the problem with our space is we get, different camps and experts uh, in in exercise and strength training. And it turns into this, uh, you know, intellectual debate yeah. over mm -hmm. things that really don't fucking matter for 90% of the population. It, they really don't. It's, uh, and it's unfortunate that we, we get here and we get, and we rarely do, we rarely comment on this. I think ripto has got enough uh, street cred and uh, we've thought the video was entertaining. So the person who asked this question, they got us to talk about this, but we actually pass on a lot of these questions where people want us to debate 
uh, another expert in the field that maybe said something that is counter to what we said because we've talked about the value of a trap bar before so i'm sure that's why this person brings this up and and the truth is it really what it ends up doing is it loses the people that we care about most Uh, I, i think the goal of mind pump when we first started this was to you know, educate the people that are trying to get started with health and fitness and, and learn the, the proper way to get in shape and to learn the proper way to strength train and the benefits of lifting weights and the things like that. And so this is a community that we're really trying to, we're trying to reach the people that are not going to the gym. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want to get in an argument with the the fitness gurus right. that have been doing it forever and and fight over. You know what ends up happening when you do this, when you debate what's better, trap bar or a straight bar deadlift? Then you're gonna, you're drawing a line in the sand. Right. And, and the listeners or viewers or whoever's watching is going to then think, I need to pick one. Right. I have to pick one. Yeah, and the truth is they both have value. That's right. And that's sad because you're going to lose the value of the other exercise. They both have value. That's mm. the real truth. And by the way, this is a strategy that advertisers have used for yeah. years. Pepsi yeah. and Coke did this in the 80s. It's how they got everybody to drink Pepsi and Coke and throw not drink 7-Up and Shasta and all the other drinks. They, gave, they made people think... They had to pick. Politics works this way. I have to pick. There's only two choices, one or the other. When we make this debate over these two exercises, which one's better, which one sucks, uh, then people are just going to think, oh, I side with Mind Pump. They said the trap bar. Yeah. I side with Ripito. He says the straight bar. So I'm just going to pick one. And then you miss out on all these amazing benefits yeah. of the other exercise. The truth is they both have value. Yeah, I do appreciate like some of these old dogs, though, that, that like stay like they dig their heels into like <laughs> you know those like foundational things that like have been time tested like over you know millennia in, in, in any different like culture like you know deadlifts like like bench press like the ones that like have worked like time in and time out and they want to make sure they keep the purity of it, the mm-hmm. way that it's taught uh you know why the reasoning behind it like everything is like untouched and i, and I get that but then something new like yeah. the trap bar comes along and it's like ah well, he's, they don't want to like change is hard well ripto's a smart very smart dude i'll tell you what starting strength was the best workout uh you could get online before maps anabolic 100 percent. you compared his program to all the other bodybuilding routines and there was a stark difference. I remember first seeing it and going, wow, this looks very simple. Yeah. This looks very basic. Yeah, very simple. Follow it and you just you get great results. All these other bodybuilding routines are, are full of crap. It was he really made a phenomenal impact. It was his programs that got people to finally say, the average person to say, hey, wait a minute, maybe I should train on these core lifts instead of doing all this other fluff. Maybe I should train my full body, you know, a few times a week instead of doing body part splits. It was him. Well, and, and there's, uh, Justin, I'm with you. I can appreciate purists and, and the digging the heels in, but I think it's important as experts in the field that, you know, you're careful about what you dig your heels in about. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like what you what you take a hard stance on of, of what's good or what's bad. Yeah, because isn't he like anti-mobility too? If oh, I'm he is? is he? Yeah, I'd have to dig into that. I'm not sure about All that. Right, well, but I, I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Again, like I said, I appreciate that they exist because they're on a spectrum. You know, like for me, it's like I... I I, I can then like kind of make my own decision accordingly. Like I know where he stands on like something else that's going to come out and it'll put present an argument that I'm going to think about. Well, and I, I also think that we're, we're speaking to different communities. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if uh, I, I side with him, if I'm talking to a bunch Just of people, pure strength, yes, yeah, strength, driven people, strength training athletes like only. that want to be strong as fuck. And that's why they follow my channel and that's what they're interested in. Yeah. And I catch wind that people are stopping doing conventional deadlifts to do trap bar deadlifts because mm. it's fucking easier. Mm. Yeah. And so they're choosing to go that path. I would, I would dig my heels in the same way and say the same thing about the trap bar, but I, I mind pump. Isn't that like, uh, we're not uh, speaking to just a strength community. We have a plethora of yeah. all different types of people that are trying to get into fitness. We have everything from, Super advanced experts and and strength athletes to the total beginner novice person who is clueless about strength training. Right. And the last thing I want to do is to get into these crazy debates. Maybe when we first started, we would get we probably uh, yeah, I think um, entertain some of these conversations because it was good for us to gain to gain some traction. That could, people could hear us intelligently debate or argue points like this. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I'm very careful about it now because I don't well, we, think it's... We pre-screen it now because it's like if it doesn't hold any value to your average person, typically we don't even really want to discuss yeah, it. Yeah, well, that, and that all being said, look, here's, here's the deal with the trap bar. I think uh, it's got a lot of value. I think we all think that. I think 
using it in your routine on a semi-regular basis is a good idea. You'll notice gains in your glutes, uh, your hamstrings. You'll get some good trap activation, some good mid-back activation from it. Great for strengthening your grip. Great for athletes. It's great. It's phenomenal for athletes. In fact, uh, I've seen ex athletes train explosiveness with weights with the trap bar more effectively than other methods, uh, other barbell and barbell oh, I mean, You look at uh, Max Marzo, you look at Corey Schlesinger, you look at uh, Paul Fabritz, yep. all good, great friends of ours who are some of the best mm -hmm. Uh, athletic coaches in the, in the space, all of them utilize the trap Yeah, they bar. have great points for it. 